In this video, we're going to look at uh, either graphing or writing the equation for vertical and horizontal lines. So the first example here, this is within the Delta Online math system, is graph the line x equals negative 3. So first off, is that horizontal or vertical? When it's x equals, we know that is a vertical line. And then it's when x equals negative 3. So we got to drag the line, click on the dot, point the old point there and drag it to x equals negative 3. So again, vertical line, no matter where you go on that vertical line, yeah, the y value changes, but x is always negative 3, and that slope is undefined. All right, let's look at another example. Graph the line x equals negative 4. Same idea. This is going to be a, a vertical line. I'm going to go to negative 4. Okay, this time it gives us a vertical line, and we have to write the equation. Oh, this is going to be just simply x equals negative 1. Again, if it's vertical, it's, it's x equal. If it's a horizontal line, it would have been y equals. Okay, it really likes vertical lines right now, so this is going to be x equals 5. Graph the line y equals negative 7. All right, y equals, this is going to be a horizontal line um, where the slope is 0. So this is like saying y equals 0x minus 7. You're going to go down the y intercept, it's going to be a negative 7. So all we do is take our line and drag it down to negative 7. There it is. Write the equation of the line that's graphed, right? So this is a horizontal line. The y-intercept is 3. So it's going to simply be y equals 3. Again, no matter where you go on that line, any point on there, the y-coordinate for the point is 3. Yeah, the x-coordinate changes, right? If you go left or right, it's going to change. But the, the, the y value is always 3 which is why the equation is y equals 3. This one is that cross at 6, so it's going to be y equals 6. And this one would be what? y equals negative 3. Good, and we're done.